we're gonna get the real live transmission put in it. All right, it's time to redeem ourselves on this. Uh, last time you saw that we didn't quite get all these parts ready to prime, we just ran out of time. But we're gonna get it done today. Caden got everything all wrapped up. Just gotta finish up this last bit on my hood so I can paint it. Hmm. We uh, forgot to weld this piece in on the ends. Um. So I just made a cap to go here to fill that in. Hmm. And then I'll weld that side in, so. But that's what I'm doing. Nice. What you doing? Oh, not really, no. not really anything. I just got home from school, so. Man, I don't have to do that anymore. I don't have to come home from school because I don't have to go to school. <laughs> yep. All of the uh, body work's done. It's just ready to prime. One inner fender had some body work, so we'll get that one primed. This rear inner fender will just epoxy the inside of it, and then we can bedline the inside of it to protect it. And then the tailgate, which has been a huge project, as you can tell, it's all ready to go too. Both sides are all good to go. All of this stuff will get epoxy primer over the bare metal, probably a coat or two, depending on the location. After we get that epoxy primer sprayed, we'll let it dry for 60 to 90 minutes, and then we'll put our uh, primer over the top of that. Most of this stuff will get urethane primer surfacer over the epoxy, the fenders, the insides of the doors, and the tailgate. The hood will get uh, polyester spray fill on it. We can finish blocking it. The hood was just a little bit wavy. We got the worst of it taken care of with the filler on here, but the uh, polyester spray fill is basically a bondo that you spray through your gun. Gives us a little something extra to block on. Get that hood all straightened around. Speaking of filler, there was quite a few comments left. We're a bunch of hacks or we're using way too much bondo. Robbie would hate us and shame us and all this, that, and the others. Eh, we're not hacks, but filler is a kind of a requirement to make one straight. But I just want to show you how little filler there really is. So you can see right here in these holes, you can see the sheet metal down there. And there is just barely any filler on this, as far as thickness, on this panel. You can see these lower holes, there's barely any thickness on there. And around the side marker, you can see there's barely any any material on there. Okay, you have to show a picture of John's how much filler's on. Where oh, the yeah, I on think, that. yeah, I think that'll we give you a good reference of yeah. how much filler is a lot of filler. Yeah. <laughs> you see the Bondo sculpture that is the fender? Is that all Bondo? <laughs> Holy crap. It's only a half inch thick. Five eighths? Yeah. You know. So wait, is that Bondo? Oh, oh yeah. where's All the metal? Is there any metal? There's a little bit back little here. A little rust spot right back here. Uh oh. It's, it's all Bondo. There's really no steel there, so that's that's a stupid amount. I personally won't put uh, spread any filler over about a quarter's really pushing it for me, So, but I definitely like to keep it well under an eighth. And the closest, probably the most filler I'll, eat, I'll let get by is in this spot right here. You can see that that's a little bit thicker right there. This fender, this the factory wave, the way it was stamped, it was uh, quite low right there, but that's still less than an eighth, and that's kind of pushing the limit for me on most things, but you can see everywhere else, there's hardly any thickness of filler at all. We just put enough on there to uh, block it to make the panel straight, and then we prime over the top of that. And that's pretty industry standard. If you watch any car being built by Kindig or any of the other big names, they also use just a coat of filler over the whole thing, and then they block the whole thing to make it straight. Okay, I've got the epoxy primer mixed, and uh, we'll get it in the gun, and we'll uh, go to town. Well, I got everything epoxied, and uh, it's been drying for about two hours, so it's a little bit cooler in the shop. It's only about 69 or 70 degrees in here, so I figured I better give it a little bit more time to, to dry, so before I put some primer on the top. I was originally planning on putting uh, polyester primer on the hood, but it turns out my polyester primer's bad, so it's a little older than I remembered it being. But I've got a new can of uh, primer surfacer urethane stuff that I'll just put that on the hood. So hopefully it'll block out okay. If not, well, I'll just figure it out. It's looking okay. I guess I'll start spraying some primer. Oh, yeah, I've had some people comment about how dangerous it is to spray in a 
unventilated shop and work in an unventilated shop but this shop is fairly well ventilated i do have this big fan right there and i have that big fan up in the ceiling and i can just crack these doors and get both of those fans going and it keeps the air exchanged it does get a little bit thick when i start spraying heavy but if i uh, give it a minute to catch back up then it's just fine well let's get going Everything's primed, guns cleaned up, masking paper's been taken off, and the guide coat has been sprayed. I think that's a wrap, at least for this batch. I will have to prime the outsides of the doors. We just did the insides of them, but the outsides still need to be primed, as you can see. So uh, we'll let these sit and dry overnight. We'll turn the doors over on the stands, get the outsides epoxied and primed, and they'll be good to go. We'll let these parts sit for a couple of weeks at least. Let the primer cure all the way through. Let everything shrink. I like to let them sit as long as possible before I block them. I know that makes the primer harder, harder than a rock to uh, block, but that's okay. I'd rather have it shrink and let it do all of its stuff before I start sanding on it. So finished product sure ends up being a lot nicer in the end. Well, I think that takes care of it for tonight. Probably tomorrow we'll get going on Grizz. We got my dad trying to change his cloth. Oh, Paul. This is old shop, Dad. I don't know what time is it? It was only an hour fast, Chad. Well, this clock has never been right. 10.30. Yeah, 10.30. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is that right? It goes it's fast. It's always within 15 minutes, but yeah. it's, not, it's not, like, accurate. Is that why the spatter around it was wiped like it was? You just got up like that? What? <laughs> when that oil thing blew off and it was all... It's oh, only yeah. got the semi wiper out of it. Yeah. It takes too much effort to avoid me. Hey, did you know it's like pressure wash the doors? Yeah. Corbin and I on. We pressure washed that door and that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now you say it. Now you say it. Can you see it? Later, you, can <laughs> you can take a bite. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you can touch it. <laughs> I don't feel like you can tell until you point I mean, it out. You definitely tell. Okay. I mean, before, if you touched it, it would, <laughs> you'd leave a mark. Yeah. Do you think we'll uh, back it in? Oh, it's way warmer in here. What are you working on? It's a 3D printer. You're, you're building your own. Yeah. Well, this will be the 10th one. Well, I own nine other ones that I didn't build, but I'm building this one. It'll be number 10. Did you print all the pieces? Yeah. They're not pretty. I didn't care. It's just like, I just need it printed. All right. Next day in the shop, Caden got all the parts and pieces out except for the doors. We do need to prime the outside of those doors still. So. so I'm gonna be bouncing back and forth between that and Grizz. Grizz is back in the shop. We're gonna get the real live transmission put in it. Um, we're gonna mock up the transfer cases and see if we can get that transmission cross member built. I don't know if we'll get it fully built today, but we'll at least get it roughed out and know what we've got. It'll be nice to have the center part of the frame wrapped up. Get that much closer to uh, getting this all cleaned up and painted and, and uh, go together for good. Tyson's going to pressure wash the transmission and the transfer case. They're out on the back pad and he's trying out the brand new steam cleaner out there. Are you blowing or sucking? <laughs> I hope you blowing. It's safe. It's antifreeze. It's not safe. It's safe. It's 
It's not a coincidence that beardy rhymes with weirdy, so. <laughs> Pink antifreeze. Yeah, it is not, safe. Yeah, it's not green. It's yeah. Okay. Yep. I didn't give him the unsafe yeah. stuff. That would be rude. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty pink. <laughs> Nice and happy place. Do this, do that, do this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Giant on the burner. Yep. Oh, is it having a hard time lighting or what's that? It's trying to let off the burner. Shuts uh, off. Pull the handle again. It relights it. You blew that cap off. Was it covering something that shouldn't get water in it? I don't know. <laughs> What was that you gave him? It's the cement Because it sounds cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for like 12 and a half seconds. 
Maybe one minute. Was it a minute? Maybe it was longer than a minute. Okay, then you're done. All right. I was just looking for 15 seconds, so. <laughs> Quite do it. Oh, so close, huh? Yeah. yeah About the width of that cross member, huh? Yeah, we'll just pull that cross member out. Come. Grind it, cut it, and then we're building a new one anyway, right? Yeah, it'll be back here. Mm -hmm. So I just we just uh, welded this in when we cut the end of the frame off, so the rails would stay. So, cut. Get her cut. Yeah, you have the blue flashlight? Okay. Last Tyson. Hey, Tyson. Did you grab the blue flashlight or did I leave it at home? What's that? The blue the blue one of these? I Okay. I probably left it at home. I'm thinking it's landed. Don't believe that purple one. That was mine. Sorry. I'm just kidding. Didn't say sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Just don't let it happen again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've had enough. Ford, Mod, to Chevy. Who said a Ford and a Chevy can't love each other? Lots of guys. Big door for me. Have you ever been one of those guys, though? No, I've never been that way with the Purex. Is it fine with whatever it is, so. You know, that's probably a good time. <coughs> have to break out Mr. Welder. And then uh, finish those guys up. We need some stickers. Did I hit her with the sparks like I saw? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. You were doing a good job. Okay. Does she up. need a beard cover? <laughs> I need a head cover. <laughs> Got the uh, other trance out. Now we can finish bolting this adapter in. I just kind of had it clobbered in there enough for uh, mock up so we get the motor bolted in. Got these plates welded in, cleaned up the welds. Now we're getting the real trance in, but this is a two wheel drive trance so I can have this output speed sensor right here. Makes it a whole lot easier to make the trance shift with. With that output speed sensor we don't have to mess with anything on the transfer case trying to adapt speed sensors on nails or anything but the other thing we have to do is cut this output shaft to match a four-wheel drive one so as you can see tyson got that cut we just got that little bit hanging off of there for a dramatic effect i just like to use a hose clamp and a piece of tape so we make sure we cut on the right side of the line and then the hose clamp makes sure we get a pretty square cut. You can see it's not perfectly square right now. We'll just take the grinder squared up to that hose clamp. Yeah, good job, Tyson. It's mostly square, so <laughs> it's all good. Hold your head up high, Tyson. Yeah, it's all good. Fine. You were over there and you had the uh, look of shame and guilt like a cat had just peed in the corner or something. So yeah, no, it's good. Um, I can't say that. Huh? Yeah. Why can't we say that? Cats pee in corners. <laughs> yep, they do. Oh, we can't talk about cats anymore? Well, are cats canceled? Are like... They're not canceled, are they? No. no, people that talk about cats are canceled, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, okay. Fine, yeah. 
So we'll get that finished up. Um, we'll get the uh, adapter bolted to the converter and uh, we should be good to go. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> what? I just feel like you gotta like, oh, integrate yeah. it. Stop! <laughs> I'm doing something with my hands. I'm doing something with my hands. <laughs> In the drawer. <laughs> Where all the good safety glasses are. He didn't square it up good? No. Oh, it's pretty close. A little bit. Just, yeah, that's about average. <laughs> you grab that camera, Tyson. Yeah. What do you need? I'm just going to lift the door. Because they're a bunch of dorks. We are. That's a lunch. <laughs> I'm going on my lunch break, Mr. Krabs. Dusty, what are you working on? That looks like a big old mess. Um, well, you know, I don't know. I'm just trying to take things apart. Just trying to take things apart? Yeah. Catching your little thing. You're a lot. <laughs> yep. You <laughs> yeah, you were right there. She said you have a little thing. Thank you. Why do you gotta be rude about it? <laughs> what are you gonna do right now? This here is a four Chevy wedding thing. <laughs> That's what that's called. Yeah. Okay. I never thought you would have to sit there. Yep, Mary's the Ford to the Chevy. We got a couple of those, yeah. That's what that piece is, too. Yep. Because it's a Ford Transfer King. Is it? Oh my gosh, you are just bastardizing. What is this word? Gosh, some people are be so mad. Yeah, you might as well just say it's a well, Chevy. So it's definitely a little bit of a red-headed stepchild at this point in the game. Is it a short or a... a it's a, a febby. It's a febby. It's from there. It's a febby. A febrile. It's an embarrassment. Is it a Chevy cow? It is a Chevy yeah. cow. GMC. Uh, it's currently it. Chevy, but it will be GMC when it's all yeah. said and done. So it's an FMC. Yeah. For, wait, that's Ford Motor Company. <laughs> this, is, this is close to polygamy. It's it's something. It's really polygamy? Something. It's really something. Polygamy is when you have multiple wives, Tyson. It's gonna only be married. Well, this to is one. gonna be married six times. Yeah. There's another one. Another wedding ring. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, is that a boy? No, that's Chevy. Okay, so the shop says it's gonna be a wedding. Shrub is Ford though. Ford. It is a mess. Steering box is a Ford. Yep. Got any Tacoma Toyota stuff on here? Come on. We'll leave that up to Paul. <laughs> so you gonna get it up there and then drain the water? No, we're not draining the water. The so water is still good. Quit asking about water. Yeah. The water brand new. Why would we drain it? Yeah. We just yeah. barely put it in there. Fresh, fresh water. And it was oh. hot. And it was fresh hot water. So, yeah. Yeah. So there's really nothing that's going to be growing. <laughs> okay, we finally got all this stuff ready to go in. It was quite a major chore. So, yeah, those adapters, that adapter, they didn't send any of the right bolts. So I had to do a bunch of mixing and matching and grinding and drilling and all kinds of fun stuff. But she's good. Got the adapter on the front of the converter. So we had to space it about three eighths of an inch so this lines up with the flex plate. Apparently this uh, adapter is designed for a LS 
4L60 type chance. But this is a 4L80, so we just had to make up that difference. Got the uh, cast iron adapter on the back here. And got the, uh, this is just all mock-up stuff on the floor. We don't have anything in the doubler and pulled the top stuff out of the 205 just to make it a little easier and lighter to move around while we get it all figured out. We'll get this put in and see what we get. You're gonna have to get your bow tie tattoo removed. <laughs> Good thing I never bothered. Huh? <laughs> Good thing about being a procrastinator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, would you do that again for the video? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Give me five minutes. <laughs> you got the pumper. Yep. Oh, jeez. You get to do the old Suzanne Summers workout there. <laughs> In memory of. Oh, yeah, she just passed over. Yeah. yeah. Try some shake it. Yeah. <laughs> Work it out. Work it out. I would. My legs actually getting tired. Whoa. Yeah. Careful, bud. All Whoa. right. Let's see. Are we going to be able to get this thing? Get it right. my clocking. Let me see. It's very close, whatever it is. All right, let's go down. That bolt pattern does yeah. not like it. Okay, so I'll roll it around and see if it is symmetrical so or not. Let's go on the next set. Oh, I got you. Okay. Still no? Nope. Next. If we can see. There, there we go. go. Yeah. Okay, so that is. Grab a Sharpie. Grab a Sharpie. That's top. That is the top. Okay, let's try that. Yep. We should fall right in now. Yep. You're up, T. Yep. You got the pumper. You got the. That. You get the. Like so much again. pressure. So yeah. much pressure. <laughs> Get a nut or something. I'm yeah, like nervous that this is gonna fall on someone's toe, pinch someone's finger. Yeah, we got that covered. Oh yeah. man, that that looks really good. Like, we got this transfer case thrown on here. Got it. Hey, imagine that another GoPro died. That's so weird. Another um, angel just lost a tweet. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a lot of dead angels because yeah. of this show. Yeah. Okay. Uh, got this all clocked the way we like it. Uh, transfer case is nice and flat, but we want to go up with it just a little bit more. It's got this big old ear right here on the top of the case that we can cut off. Yeah, right there. So we'll pop this case back out and and uh, cut that off and then we can raise everything up we could probably go up nearly another inch can't we mm -hmm. yeah that'll be perfect that's where we want it yeah that'll per make the belly of this nearly flat so i have a m transmission mount around here somewhere so i'll go see if i can find that and we can start building the cross member we're making progress you grab a big hammer Grab a bit the big hammer. Wow. Yeah. She's doing it though. Oh, she's oh, yeah. done. She's done. Ready she's done. Come. Look at that. Mm -hmm. This is good. But can you clean it up? Yeah, we did have uh, left a little hole there, but I kind of anticipated that, so. We'll just, we'll just weld a little plate over it and clean her up and...
Okay, kill it probably, again. Probably good enough. Let's stick that bad boy back in there. That's another three pounds off of it, guys. Yeah. That's the difference between a wheelie and no wheelie. Yep. <laughs> and it just looks better too. We took some of the Ford off of it, so. <laughs> I'll leave it sure. And we'll add some more in later. <laughs> Don't you fret, it's coming. One, two, three. Okay. I can leave my fingers out of the way this time. Yeah, probably a good idea. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. What's happening out here? Speaking about you. Yep. Just missing you. Just wondering where you've been. Yeah, we've missed you a lot. Do you get a big fat hug for your dad? No? So what a pal. That sure rude. Did you just wake up? No. Oh, he's always this on right? Is he? Gosh, that's weird. Everybody thinks he's so cute, huh? <laughs> are you cute, Corbin? Or are you grumpy? The world wants to know. The world wants to know. <laughs> Here, give me that. So are you cute or are you grumpy? Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that pretty much that. <laughs> That's an I have no idea. Oh, uh, you have no idea. Okay. You just don't like the camera facing you, huh? Yes. You're just all of a sudden shy? Yes. Okay. All right. Yep, we got the transfer cases mocked up. We got everything all cut into place. And now we're gonna cut this cross member out right here so we can finish boxing the frame. And your dad's actually letting me cut it out. I don't have to, you know, s nicely remove it. Yeah, we're just, we're just gonna like, wow. we're gonna break out the chainsaw and the, <laughs> chainsaw. And the jaws of life and whatever, <laughs> whatever ways we can get that out the fastest. So, yeah. Nope, we're just gonna plasma it out. I'm thinking, chainsaw, we were gonna chainsaw? Try the chainsaw, you mean the but... saw? No, Sawzall's way too slow. Yeah. Yeah, that probably take us forever. Yeah. Plasma. Is there an extra welding helmet around here? Like it is? Some what? An extra welding helmet. Yeah, they're all over the place. You know where they're at. Whoa. Man. Stop it. Ready? Yep. Nice. What are you doing? Are you gonna go take a nap? No. I'm huh? just gonna put some cold water on this so okay. it's like Oh man. Did it? Yeah. Probably could sue Dusty for that. Probably. Hi, Dusty. Hi, Dusty. Let's see. I mean, you're just gonna have to take a nap. Yeah. 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 Take a nap. It's 611. Yeah, so. Yeah. A little chunk came off and hit right there. Uh oh. Uh, yeah. Right. yeah. Just, I think he's going to live through it. Yeah, I'll be fine. Here, you better take this. Fine, I'll take it. Holy crap, that's a lot of dirt. 
to fill up. Yeah. Okay, Dusty's welding the fish plate on the inside of the frame on the driver's side. We have those vertical uh, pieces that we put in above the radius arm brackets. So we're just welding the plate to those. And then you'll see we have a burn mark here and here and there and there for the additional plates we welded inside of here for our cross member to bolt to. So we'll just drill and tap that directly. So here's the other side. Just a reminder of what those plates were. So this is quarter inch. So we have that piece well laying over the top and then we went run a bead there and there. And this was to stiffen this part of the frame up and keep the plate on the inside of the frame from rolling out from the stress of the cross member for the transmission stuff. We'll probably open that gap up just a little bit. It's a little tight there at the top and we'll have a nice nice spot there to lay a bead in so we'll clamp this all together get it to line up and then at the back same thing we'll probably tighten that one up just a smidge maybe I don't know I'll probably be fine and we'll weld that and then weld everything to the frame and this frame will be fully boxed we got this fish plate overlapping our rear section so you can see on this other side this is where our rear rail comes down and then we plated the whole inside of this but this will further tie all this together. I would call it ridiculously. It's on the verge. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. I would call it ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes overkill's just right. It's so. fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. Don't have to worry about it. Yeah, at least it won't be buckling right there. So. Nope. Or there. Yeah. Or there. Or there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, this is looking really good. Pretty excited about it. It's Sunday. Chad's off doing his Sunday chores. And I'm here for a little bit. Figured I'd get uh, some of this welding wrapped up. So I just kind of started stitching everything together under here. Uh, got these plates mounted. Same thing, just started stitching everything. But figured I could do this without screwing too much stuff up. Oh, by the way, check out these sweet new hats. Yep, chadsfab.com. Go get you some. Anywho, finished getting these all welded up. Oh, I accidentally welded that whole thing on there, so I'll just wait till we knock that down. Get the permanent one in there. That's just a temporary cross member just to hold this tranny up, transfer case. So welded. I feel pretty confident that this is a stout frame. I'm just saying, I don't think we're gonna be wadding this up too bad. There you have it. Sundays with Dusty. Well, we didn't quite get as far as I'd hoped. I was hoping to get a good start on the cross member, but we just plain flat ran out of time as always. So, but overall, I'm really happy with it. All the plating turned out really good to box that frame in. It's super strong. Um, just a little bit of minor cleanup uh, grinding on it. Ooh, there's a little sliver right there. Ow. Clean up these welds just a little bit, but uh, everything's all grooved or uh, V'd out, so there's plenty of, plenty of weld even with some minor grinding. And then we did put plates inside on here so we can drill and tap right here for the cross member. So there'll be three-eighths of material there for our threads. 
Um, I'll get the transfer case and the doubler out at some point and get those all rebuilt and ready to go. Overall, I'm pretty happy with our progress this week. Till next time, remember, nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you really care. Thanks for watching.